What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to add shakes to your videos. Now before I get started with the tutorial I actually just created a new shake preset pack that's designed for Premiere Pro. Previously I only had a shake pack for After Effects but you guys seemed to really like that one and a lot of you guys requested one for Premiere Pro so I went ahead and made one so you guys can go ahead and download that and use them for Premiere Pro now. There's over like 20 different shake presets in that pack so I'd highly recommend trying it out if you guys want to add some shakes to your videos. Alright enough self promo let me actually get started with this tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is create an adjustment layer. So if you go over here to your media and create a new item and adjustment layer, these should just be default for your composition and hit OK and drag this on top of your layer. And we can just trim down this adjustment layer because we don't need that full length. Somewhere around here is pretty good. OK, so the first effect we want to apply to this adjustment layer is transform. Just drag it onto the adjustment layer and let's go ahead and set the scale to 120 and set a keyframe for that at the start of your adjustment layer and just go a few frames over. I say like 10 or 15. I'm just going to go kind of towards the middle of this adjustment layer here and then set this down back to 100. So the default value. Then let's go ahead and select this last keyframe here. Right click it and hit ease in. You can also open up the graph here and kind of adjust it if you want to. Next, we're going to go ahead and keyframe the position here. So let's go ahead and set a keyframe at the start and we're going to move this one to the left and then kind of just up like this. Basically, you don't want to go too far where you actually see the black edges of this video, but just enough. So it's kind of out position from the middle and then go four keyframes over one, two, three, four, and then create another position somewhere else on the video. And you just want these to be pretty random because obviously a shake is supposed to be random. So we're just pretty much trying to replicate what a shake effect would look like. And then let's go five frames over for this next one and then set another keyframe. And then lastly, I'm just going to go five more frames and then set it back down to zero. And then just go ahead and change your shutter angle to 180. And let's go ahead and play this back and see what it looks like. As you can see, it's a pretty subtle shake right now, and obviously you're going to have to adjust this and kind of play with it to get it to what you guys want it to look like. You can mess around these keyframes here, move them in closer, and the closer they are, the faster and more, I guess, aggressive the shake will be. As you can see, just by moving them closer together, you get a more of an impact kind of shake. We can even bring the scale up to like 140 at the start, which allows us to move the first keyframe up a lot more, or to the right or left. Now you can see if I play this back, it just creates more of an impact on that shake. So the more you adjust this position, the stronger the shake will be. The next effect we're going to apply is directional blur. Let's go ahead and bring that into the adjustment layer. Let's change the blur length to 40 and make the direction just some random value here. Set a keyframe, go a few frames over, set that to another random value and just do that for a few frames. And then let's go to the start for the blur length, set a keyframe on that, and then just go over a few frames and set this down to zero. So that kind of just helps smooth out the shake a bit more. The last effect we're going to apply is brightness. Let's go ahead and bring this brightness and contrast onto that adjustment layer as well. I'm going to set that brightness to 40, set a keyframe, and then once again, just go a few frames over and then set this down to zero. Then just go ahead and select that last keyframe and hit ease in. And there you go. That is how you easily create that shake effect inside of Premiere Pro. You can basically just copy these adjustment layers and paste them onto the rest of your video layers. So if I play this back, you can kind of see how it transitions into this next clip. But yeah, if you guys did download that preset pack, all you have to do to install it is go up to these three lines up here and then hit import presets and then select my shake presets and hit open. But yeah, once this is imported, you'll find them underneath the presets here and you'll have all these different shakes that you can easily apply into your adjustment layer. You literally just drag them onto that adjustment layer and you instantly get that shake effect. All right, so I have another clip in my timeline here. As you can see, it's just a normal shot, but then I have like a little slow-mo at the end towards the dunk. So it's not very smooth and I don't really like how it looks. I want some more kind of impact on that dunk. So what we're going to do is create an adjustment layer, drag that over our footage and just trim it down. So it starts on that slow motion part of the video. And let's go ahead and just apply one of these shakes here. I'm going to go ahead and try this main shake one and drag that onto the adjustment layer. And yeah, as you can see, that definitely helps add impact to that dunk and looks super sick. All right, so I have a few other car clips in my timeline. Let's go ahead and play this back and see what it looks like right now without any shakes. So obviously it's pretty smooth. The speed ramps are clean and it looks pretty good pretty much on its own. But I want to go ahead and apply some shakes onto this just to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and bring on that adjustment layer and trim that down. And for this first one, let's go ahead and try this go to shake two. Then let's create another adjustment layer for that second clip. Let's go ahead and try this Y shake light. That looks pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and do that for this next clip. Let's go ahead and apply our go to shake four. Another super clean one. Honestly, I really like that one. So I'm just going to duplicate that and apply it to our last one. So let's go ahead and run this out really quick and see what it looks like with the shakes applied. And yeah, just like that, it adds a lot more motion to our video and just helps sell those speed ramps and makes everything kind of flow together. So yeah, if you guys do want to go ahead and download these shakes, I'll have them linked down in the description below. But if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.